who likes exorcisms. That's awful. I'm gonna do that again. Who likes exorcisms? This must be what Dora feels like. Well, I, Iggy Crane, happen to be quite the fan. I've decided to combine my great loves of the internet and things that go bump in the night to create an investigation log. I'm not a detective or anything, but when I get bored I like to type creepy things into the library search database, and I stay inside a lot, so, um... I'm probably on a lot of watch lists, actually. Weird sister's delivery. Hey, you do not like coffee. True, but I like pie, and you. Welcome to my abode for the school year. Do your spiel, I'll tip extra. Weird Sisters Coffee House, the wickedest brew in Washington. Try our double double toil and trouble special. Two bloody scott lattes for the price of one. We deliver. Pay up. The McDuff Mocha is for you. Have a seat, observe. But back to the exorcisms. What? Let me begin by saying Bayard University is quirky. Exorcisms, as you probably know, are rituals meant to kick demons out of people's bodies. They've been going on since, like, the dawn of time. So two days ago, whilst throwing pencils at my ceiling, I overheard some frat bros in the hall talking about a rather unusual chapter meeting. Apparently, Beta Rho Omega's president performs exorcisms for his work study and is forcing pledges to participate. So last night, I actually left the dorm after 8 and snuck into a meeting to bring back some eyewitness details. Wait, 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 wait. what? Like, work study? Are they letting him do it? Okay, first of all, we are not even religiously affiliated. Ladies and gentlemen, Katrina Van Tassel. Hands down the worst partner in conspiracy research a girl could ask for. Skills include expert navigation of the Washington Underground, mediocre lockpicking, and perpetual skepticism. I'm not involved in this. Shun the non-believer. For future reference, in case of my untimely demise, my criminology professor may have been an accessory to murder. Hey, Katie. What's up? The ceiling ran of unusual size, apparently. I don't think they exist. Oh, they do. I named him George Jr. You two know each other? You two know each other? I asked you first. I asked you second. I insist. I decline. And you're the guest here. So are you. I brought pie. Well, I'm the co-host. I don't know what that means. Ha! I met Katrina in a broken elevator last year. She's a weird sister. Ben is my new field agent for when I don't want to venture outdoors. You believe in ghosts? Yeah, but that's more Iggy's side of things. I'm the extraterrestrial expert of the partnership. You guys know each other? co Victorians. I should have guessed. Well, I had a frat meeting to attend about ten minutes ago. Maybe I'll see a bit more of you now, Katie. Okay, Pinto. So, where is George Sr.? Ben Bones, my trusty assistant and new member of KEG, or Kappa Epsilon Gamma, another gross frat on campus. Frat bros. Born from a... Primordial soup of booze and axe deodorant, this incredibly stupid yet unrelenting offshoot of Homo sapiens by some improbability escaped the grasp of natural selection, which had every intention of taking them out ages ago, and marched straight out of their in-ground swimming pools to these dens of salmon shorts and Red Bull-fueled misogyny. Ben's frat doesn't exercise anyone, but I do believe their president may be an alien. He's from New Mexico. Exactly. Roswell? The, oh my god. Okay, Iggy, no. That's not a thing. The evidence it is 